Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless and Affinity Photo 2.0 was just released today. I'm really excited about it and they have a great deal. In fact, it's a fantastic deal. I ended up buying Affinity Photo, Affinity Publisher, Affinity Designer for not only desktop, but also for iPad, all three, that's six of them. It was a special deal, $90 for six apps. It's great, great deal and it's only a limited time only, so you should grab it if you can. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of my favorite parts of the new Affinity Photo. I'm going to take some text now and I don't know, let's say Affinity. In the past we had live perspective, but we didn't have live warp. So if we go here to live filters, we'll see mesh warp. And there it is. So mesh warp now, I can take this and do anything that I want to it. I can double click and add another spot so I can kind of do something like that. And I am done. So now that I have affinity here, the nice part about this is I can change the word affinity if I want to. So I can get my text and instead of affinity, maybe I'll change it to hello. I don't know. H-E-L-L-O. And it stays with the warp. And I can go back once again and double click on the warp and change what I want to do with that. So that is really something I've been waiting for a long time. And you can use that when you want to do mock-ups. You can place the mock-ups in there and the file can change and your mock-up will stay the same. And I will be showing these in other tutorials. This is just a quick runoff of some of the things that I really do like right now. Now this isn't a particularly great raw file, it was just one that I pulled in very quickly. And I'm going to do a few crazy things here. So i um, not trying to make this look beautiful, I'm going to go actually completely overboard and see what I can do with it. Let's see, I'm going to, how about we do something like that, really something crazy. It looks nothing like you would want it to look. <laughs> I'll give it some clarity. So this is normally now you would say develop and in the old affinity you would once it's developed it's a flat pixel image but see up here on top it used that's the default pixel layer which is what it was before if you hit develop now you can't go back to this but if you change this from develop to embed embed means it stays with the file which means your file is pretty big if you do a uh, raw layer linked that means it's in a linked file, which your files are small and separated, but you have to make sure that linked file doesn't disappear or it won't be of any use anymore. So I'm going to do a raw layer embed and I'm hitting develop. And now it brings me back to Affinity Photo and I could do other crazy things. Let's just go into uh, maybe HSL here. This is a normal photo and I'll change it that way. Now, again, once again, and I'm going to move this over here so it's part of that now it's only part of that layer now it used to be again you can't, couldn't go back and fix your raw file so now if I double click I'm back in raw and it's showing me all the things that I did before so I can change anything at any time so this is really a great thing it's, it's live raw editing which people have been waiting for the whole time so and then I can say what make sure it still says embedded and say develop and now I'm back here, and I could have always turned off my uh, HSL. That's how you do live raw editing. Here's the word affinity, and I want to overlay it onto the brick wall. I'm just going to try and pick something. Let's just try overlay. So there's your overlay, and now I'm going to go to live filters, and I'm going to do displace. And I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to load the map from the layer underneath. And it just did. So I think actually, here, let's turn it off and on. You can see it does look much better. If you look really close, let me get close up. It actually does go with the shape of the brick. So the displace is pretty good. I think I was told that the red green is the new version and the I don't know, the Sobel is the old, so I don't know how much that affects anything. I'm not sure which is the new or the old. I should just look at it. 
So the Alive Displace has new versions here, and you can choose which one you like. Um, it's not so bad. Still not 100% crazy. It depends on the background I use, but I think it looks pretty good. So it is an improvement. And one more thing I just want to point out. I want you to see the icons here and how they've changed the icons. So the icons not now show what the, the actual filter is. There's the displacement filter. If I do something else, let's say I gave it a levels. I don't know, just something like that. I'm done. You can see the icon right here. Now I, I'm going to just put it under there. You, so now you can look here and see that that little icon looks different than this one. This is a displacement map and this one is a levels adjustment. So that's just a quick overview. I apologize for the quality of this video. I tried to throw it together in an hour and I just wanted to get it out so people knew what was new in Affinity Photo. I'm still working on Affinity Photo for iPad and for publisher and possibly designer. So thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.